So thanks so much for yes. being here today. This is so yeah. exciting. Um, so tell me first, um, with it being summer, graduation season, you have a graduate in your family, right? Yeah. Tell me about that. Which is so weird. I'm like, <laughs> am I old enough to have a graduate? I guess I am. Like it just went by so fast. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's bittersweet because you know I think for so many years you have this you're pouring into your kids and you're teaching them to trust the Lord and you're you know you're it's like all right now go off into life and you're going I hope I did a good job like at that point you're like I hope that they they got it and but it's really sweet because my daughter's going off to Eastern Europe um, to Georgia um, to be a to go to a mission college and so it's you know that she's taken a step of faith because for one, it's it's gonna be all across the world, way away from her family. Um, you know, there's a world war going on in Ukraine and Russia. And so, you know, Russia invaded Georgia about 10 years ago, something like that. And so, you know, that's like a possibility, like, okay. It's like, it's it's, it's happened in the past. So I've, I've taught her to trust the Lord. And she's just saying, dad, like when I start going, are you sure it's not like Atlanta, Georgia, you're talking about, you know, <laughs> the right Georgia. And I think that, She's like, dad, you know, I just, I trust the Lord and I know he's called me to do this. And it's like, those are the things I've taught her. And now I have to actually abide by those things. <laughs> and I'm like, that is what I taught you to follow the call of, your, of God in your life and to trust him. And so um, it's been good. It's been hard, but it's been really good. She's doing so well. Is she out there already or when is she? she leave? August. Okay. Gotcha. So what are you doing this summer as a family all together? We're going to England here in a couple of days. So okay. we're going to be in two days to England and we're doing a trip there. I'm, I'm playing, but then we're taking a trip. I'm going to go to England and Paris. So we're doing all that. And then um, we're actually going to all go to Georgia with her to okay. stay for a while to help get her acclimated. So really excited about that. So we're doing those kind of our two fun trips. Have yeah, you? that's so cool. Have you ever been to Europe or like around yeah. before? Okay. Yeah, I've been to 43 countries and played. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I travel a lot. <laughs> so out of the 43 countries, what is your favorite? It's hard because it, de it determines on what that, like what part of it would be a favorite. But I would say one of my favorites would be uh, Switzerland was pretty incredible. It was just clean. The people are so nice. And it, the Swiss Alps, of course, went to Lucerne, went to, you know, just all those things are just beautiful. So, but it's hard to say, like, I hate saying that because I don't really know, but that would be one of my favorite places. So like, I guess, like of all the places you've been, like, which one would you immediately go back to? Immediately? Yeah. Um, Norway. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's such a, like, old time Viking, like fjords. And it's just a whole thing that I love. It was, it was amazing and beautiful too. So I don't know. It's hard. It's a lot, there's a lot of countries I've been to, so I'm not sure. Is there one on your bucket list to go to? Um, bucket list. Wow. That's a good question. I would say Greece. Okay. Been to Italy and that's beautiful. I want to go to Greece though, for sure. Gotcha. You got to see where, where, you know, Paul went and all these, you know, the places that he was a missionary journey. So that's awesome. That's so cool. Well, I hope those trips are awesome for you and your family this summer. Um, summer is also wedding season. You had an engagement on your tour, right? Yes. So oh. we, so <laughs> actually what's funny is a couple of things happened. I, my tour manager and his fiance got married in December and I officiated the wedding. So actually, yeah, so I got to officiate, which was really sweet. And then a couple got engaged they came on stage, just some some of the fans from the audience. And he's like, hey, I want to get engaged. And we love your music. It'd be really sweet for us in a memory. And I was like, bring it. So he surprised her. She had no clue. And oh, it was really gosh. sweet. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, okay. Tell me about getting started. Um, just story behind it and what that's meant for you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny because we're, no one wants to really talk about, well, the pandemic, but it, all these songs on this album were written during that time. So it, it relates to the experiences that were happening then. And so for me, that song, it was such a deep song because I remember being in that moment, thinking about those and what they were feeling. And, and what my what came out was, you know, um, are, you, uh, are you running around in circles with no place to go? Are you a person in the mirror that you don't even know? Someone still sees who you are. Are you the kid that was a dreamer? Now you don't believe. Are you the lock that got so broken? Now you lost the key. Someone still loves who you are. And it was just whole kind of picture of where people really were at of just going like, 
what is happening? And the confusion and people lost jobs, people lost, you know, spouses, people, I mean, like just difficult things and feeling like that, that was the end of their journey in a sense of like, where do I go from here? And I really felt like God has given a song as like, I see where you're at and I'm not done with you yet. And I feel like your best days are ahead. And I think that if you keep that mindset of going like, God's not done with me yet. And I think that even as a believer, if a non-believer, if you don't know Christ, it's a gospel song where it's like second Corinthians 5, 17 says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. So you have this whole understanding of like, oh, like if you don't have Christ and you give your life to Christ and you're confused and wandering around, then you are definitely just getting started, you know, because your life is just beginning. And for those who are struggling, it's like, there's a part in the court, the bridge that says, he loves you, he loves you, he loves you over and over again. This saying that God sees you, he loves you, and he has a plan for you. And he will be faithful to complete the work in your life until the day of Christ Jesus. Did you feel like you needed this song at all too, like during the pandemic? Absolutely. Because I felt like it was a thing where I didn't know what was going to happen. And I'm like, what is going on? Like for me, like a movie, I had a movie come out and got shut down because of the pandemic and all these different things. And you're going, is that it? You know? And, and it's like, God's like, nah. And just started breathing this life. He's like, I see you. And, and I have these, these things for you still. And it really wasn't things of like these great big things. It's more, there's so much more life in your heart that I want to expand. And it was just, um, just a love for my family more, an understanding of priorities and, you know, an appreciation for things more than I ever have. And so that brought more life to me. And so it was like, yeah, like this is almost like I'm just getting started. And I feel so excited about this new season too, of just going out and playing and writing more songs. And because I feel like there's so much more in me. God has done so much of a work and a heart surgery for me that I'm just, I don't know, I do feel like I'm just getting started. Like I'm not done yet. That's cool. Wow. Heart surgery. That's a, a different way of putting it, but I like that. Um, so you mentioned the movie um, and how I wanted to ask you. So I still believe is the title of your movie because that was a big song in that season of your life. Yeah. But if you had to pick a different song title of yours to name this season of your life, what would it be? It's a good question. I would say a couple of I'll narrow it down to two. One would be keep me in the moment. Okay. A big part of where I'm at. I'm just going like, I just want to continue to enjoy where I'm at, you know? And then I think getting started, because I think that would be a big part of just where I'm at in this season. I'm just going, all right, God, like you've breathed new life into me. And it, it's almost like a, a song that makes me feel like, let's do this. Like a push forward, you know? So I think that would be definitely those two songs. Gotcha. <laughs> Do you feel like your life has changed at all since the movie? Or do you feel like, you know, there's a movie about my life and my life is still like, we've carried on as normal, but now there's just a movie where everybody knows about my life. <laughs> yeah, that's about what it is, where I just okay. carry on as normal. And I mean, more people definitely, it, it's interesting. There's people that didn't even know my music that mm -hmm. watched the movie and now they know my music. And so there's a different scale or people that were like, oh my word, I didn't know your story. And so your music became more, uh, just it became deeper for us and so yeah that part but really nothing's changed I'm just yeah. thankful and thankful that that God allowed me to have that and to share really his faithfulness in the midst of hard times so it was good yeah. so there's a I'm sure there's a part of you as an artist when you're releasing a song out into the world and that vulnerability like ah oh, this is my work but a movie then is you know this is my life so is there like a an anxiousness or anxiety or just a nervousness with like sharing your story with the world yeah for sure because you know like for me when I first started sharing not to this degree of a movie but in, in the beginning where a lot of what I shared about was my testimony um and I didn't for a long, long time for years most people ask me about it but I think there is a bringing that up again I knew the the weight that I would carry again what I mean by that is that there's a scripture that says that we're called to comfort others with what we've been comforted and it's in second Corinthians. And so there's a point where I felt, I feel like every time I play a show, people have those hard, hard stories again, that are, you know, sharing, how did you get through this? I and mean, I know that you went through it. So tell me, like, tell me what to do. And I'm like, I don't, I can't give you like, this is how you deal with it. It's just more, I can give you an encouragement of whatever I can or say, 
God sees you, he loves you and his arms are wrapped around you. And, you know, but you never, you don't say, well, if you follow these steps, this is how, and it's like, it's not like that. So you have to really be discerning in the situation as well. So I knew that they would, it would bring up a lot of those things, which are, it's a joy because I know it's part of what I'm called to do, but it's, it's difficult too. You know what I mean? Because it's a lot, uh, it's a lot to carry. So. Yeah. So how do you like process? Cause we're, you know, friend to friend, you can carry someone's burden, right. but when you're an artist carrying the burdens of so many who are sharing their stories with you and who are touched by your music. How do you process that? Um, I think when you realize that for one, everyone's story is different and, um, and everyone processes things differently. So what I mean by that is like, I could say, someone could say I lost my wife to cancer. I can go, well, I did too. But someone's personality, someone's walk with the Lord and where their journey is all can dictate how they process, you know? And so I think for me, I have to say, okay, God, I just trust that you care about them as which he does as much as you care about me and my process when I try to figure that out. And so it's more like I can deal with it, like have compassion and say, God, I trust you be with this person and do that work and let them open up their hearts to allow you to do that healing work in their heart. That's all I can do. Gotcha. That's so yeah. good. I can't imagine like having all of that and like, cause I would be the kind of person to like bear it all and take yeah. it on. But that's, that's so good that you've like come to learn that and you're able to then relate to people in their stories too. Yeah, so. still having compassion, mm -hmm. you know, so you still feel it. Um, but, but learning to say, okay, God, no, it's just, it's in your hands, you know? Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jeremy. Yeah. It's been super awesome. And I'm so excited for all that we're going to see from you in thank you. the future. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye.